Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can do simple calculations in Word. So first of all, I've got a blank document on the screen. What I'm going to do is create a little table. So if I go up to the insert tab there and just get myself a little table, I'll just go for a four by four grid. And I can edit that later on if I want to. So if I have a list of items, and then I'll have a price, and then I'll have a quantity, and then I'll have a total, like so. So if I say the first item is ink, then paper, and then at the bottom there, I'll just have another total row, so you can see how that works. And I'll go for a price of ink, 10 pounds, just keep it simple. And I'll have a quantity of 10, and then paper can be five pound. And then I'll have a quantity of 10 also. So what I want to do is use the formula feature to basically give me the answer to this and also to add up these two items. I'll go for this option first because it's slightly easier. So what you've got when you click into the cell where you want the answers to be, on the top there, because I'm in a table, I've got table design, that's active, but I need to be on this layout tab because on the layout tab, you've got the formula option on the right there. If I click on the formula option, it's automatically defaulting to sum above, which is what I want. And I've got the option here to change the actual format so it looks like pounds. Now, if I click OK to that, it should just add that up and you can see it has done that. Now, if I change that price there to £15, one of the things that you do have to bear in mind, it is not interactive like Excel. What you have to do is update any fields that you have. And the quicker, quickest way to do that is to use the F9 function key, which I've just pressed. And now that's recalculated. So if I do that for that one, I want to know what the total quantity of items I've got. I'll go to formula, uh, sum above. My choice whether I select that or not, OK, and that will work it out. Now, that is set in pounds, so I'll do that again without in pounds. Didn't think that through properly. Let's click on that. Don't want that format. So there's other formats in there. So I'll go for the top one and then click OK to that. And it's coming up with 20. And again, if I change one of these to a different figure, so 15, I'll just highlight that, press the F9 function key and it will update that to, re to reflect the change. Now this one is a bit more involved because I want to multiply the 15 quantity by the price. So if I click there, I'm going to formula and I don't want sum above. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I do want equals. Now this works in the same way as Excel in that that is column A, that is column B, that is column C, column D, etc. So basically A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So this needs to be C, um, B2 times C2. So I'm just going to type in there B2 times C2. And that's, I'm not going to bother with that format there. I'm just going to click OK to see if that works. And that has worked. Now in Excel, you'd better pull that down. But rather than doing that, I'm just going to do it again. This is going to be B3 times C3. B3, make sure you've got the equals B3 times C3. So this is not as dynamic as Excel, but you still get the similar sort of functionality at the basic level. Now I can add these two up. If I go into formulas, it defaults to that sum above as before. I'll just click it OK so you can see what that looks like when it's not picking up the format. Now any of these figures changing, if I put that back to 10, that hasn't changed. So what I'll need to do, and now there is that. So what I need to do is basically highlight the whole table this time. So the whole table is selected. You can see the fields that are highlighted there. And then I'm pressing F9 on the keyboard and all the relevant changes are made. So that's just a very short video showing you that you can use formulas in a Word document. I hope this video has been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.